Hi guys. It's another child. Yes. And in mm -hmm. our last video. Yeah, we kind of us <laughs> we kind of advertised this baby. Yes, and then I ended up getting her because I really wanted her. Yeah, and now she's yeah. ours. Yeah. So this is from Lisa's Little, so if you couldn't tell by us discussing it. Um this is uh on her channel she was called Amelia. Uh, she is. I have not decided on what to name her on our channel yet. If she'll stay Amelia, we don't know. If she won't, we don't know. No, this is a legit silicone. She's by Megan Fagan. Um, Zara. She's a boo boo baby. Z A R A. Megan Fagan. Oh my goodness, she's done a lot this time. It's, um, strawberry shortcake. One of her friends. Isn't that her strawberry shortcake? I think so. Really cute. I think that's. I'm not sure if that's vintage. Might be. It's very hard stuffing. Okay, so we're gonna make. We're gonna hold this off and be like, you guys can't see child until after we reveal all the stuff. A cow outfit? I think we have that outfit. <laughs> I, I have a doll that loves cows. Careful with that head. I am. Okay, there's two, there's one blanket. All right, so we've got, oh, it's a blanket specially made for her. Aw. Turn the camera towards me. Look at it. It's a little elephant blanket. It says Zara. Maybe this came with the baby when she bought, uh, she adopted her. Maybe. I, I know Lisa really wanted Here. this particular baby. Lift her up. I'm going to put her blanket down over the freezer. Ah. It'll knock everything off the wall. She's wearing a really cute Mickey and Minnie Mouse. It's like Steamboat Willie looking. Okay, so first I'm going to show off this adorable zero to three month cow outfit. That is so cute. Archie, my cow lover, will absolutely adore this. Can Archie fit zero to three? He usually wears newborn, but we can make it work. Here is, I think there's a, this is the pants that go with it, but this is a Disney baby zero to three. The cow outfit, I'm pretty sure it's from Timu or AliExpress because have, we have the exact same one. It came from there. Disney Baby Zero to Three. It's got Mickey and Minnie Mouse on it, kind of retro looking. Not like Steamboat Willie old, but retro looking. And it comes with these cute pair of pants that also have Mickey Mouse on it. Uh, this was an H and M Disney H and M three month. Sorry, it's got a small print. Trying to figure out the size. Really adorable little pants. Um, and then we got this, we also have this one in our collection. It's uh, one of the fall outfits from Walmart, I believe. Cele uh, way to celebrate Thanksgiving zero to three month. Adorable zip up sleeper. The hands do not cover, but that's okay. Um, and then we got Sweetheart. It is a zero to three child of mine by Carters. It says Sweetheart with a little heart in the middle. Yeah, because she's supposed to be 20 inches and 10 pounds. Here's a Valentine's Day looking outfit. It's by Chickpea, zero to three months. It's got little hearts on it to say love and pink hearts. Once again, this one doesn't have the fold over mittens, but that's okay. So adorable. Yeah, because we got quite a bit of mittens because I have quite a bit of... Oh, here's another onesie. Cuddle babies. It's a think top onesie. Let's see the brand. HB three to six month. This one's a little bigger than the other ones. A little yellow bow in the middle. It's a gray little onesie. Tank top. Really cute. And the last outfit is this watermelon outfit that doesn't have a size, but it looks about zero to three or bigger. Watermelon with some clouds on it. Adorable. And the feeties are open, so it's more of an outfit, and so are the little hands. There's no fold over mittens, but that is so cute. It's a button up instead of a zipper. And of course, you guys saw the little toy. I think it's vintage. I think it's from Strawberry Shortcake. 
At least it's got the same like design to it. She's so precious. Yeah, she is a boo boo baby, which I'm seeing the boo boos, which is fine. She's not missing toes. No. That's a missing fingers and toes. Those that's the most common issue you see with boo boo silicones. Which so. Elisa's Littles took very good care of this sweet baby, and whoever was the previous mommy uh, took very good care of her, too. Rocky. Oh, the cute little outfit she's got on says one to three months. I assume it's some sort of Disney-branded outfit. Let me zip it up so I can show you guys. Um, it's really lightweight, kind of like that bamboo outfit uh, we sent off to, on, when we did the uh, box opening for that winner that we did for 500 subscribers. But it's got Steamboat Willie on it with a uh, Minnie Mouse on it, too. Um... Mitten uh, does the mitten fold over for the hands on this version, and then the little feeties looks like you have an option to have them open or close on this too. So it's like a mitten too. It's interesting. I've never seen that before, where the feet have an option to be open or close. All right. We appreciate the stack of clothing. We will use them. All right. So here is. Would it help if I hold for a little bit too? I don't know. Her... So hey, feet. Little feeties. If you can't tell by the jiggling, she is a silica. Oh, Zara. Yeah, you can tell the knees got, the knee, this leg got fixed up quite a bit. I'm considering uh, Zara as her name, but I don't know. I don't like the name Zara. It's so cute. Her little hands. Uh, there's veining within this paint job. She have a belly button? Ooh, that's a cute little belly button. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah. It's so realistic. And then the little nipples. She's got veining on her belly, uh, too. She's got a drink and wet system. This hand's been uh, siliconed up, too. Like, fixed up. Yeah, she's a boo-boo. That's just okay. funny. And see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but her neck has also been... Get the hair on it. Yeah, there's a little bit of... So when you pick her up, you need to make sure you hold that neck. Yeah, something must have happened with the neck because a lot of times still it comes to if you don't support the neck, it'll fling back. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, of course, we have a size 2 little diaper that was on her head. It has elephants and rainbows on it. Her little hey guys, sorry for the cut. Um, my mom's phone ran out of space, but we still have little Zara here. Um... I was about to show off her little headband. We do want to apologize if you hear Simba in the background. We have this toy <laughs> named that is Simba from The Lion King. And he just started talking all of a sudden when I went to like, go grab the boppy. Because I think you could see her better if she's on the boppy instead of on our table or freezer. But uh, this is an interesting bow because it looks like a little hand. There's a hand on the hand. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a star maybe. I can't figure out this bow, but it's cute. Um, of course the diaper, but I did set the clothes off to the side. We still have them. <laughs> She's got a pink little pacifier on. Um, full passy, not a partial, and it's pink and adorable. What do we think? There's her little face. Pull it off just a little bit. So here's your sweet face. She's got rooted lashes and hair. Hair's really soft. It's like a, it's a light brown. It's like a almost gray brown. Um, and then of course her little mouth. I do notice that on the edges of them, I don't know if we'll eventually need to seal it, but um, it's cracked on either side from you putting a pacifier in her mouth, which does happen over time with silicones. Yeah. Um, and she's got these rosy cheeks. She has a drink and wet system, so if you were to look inside her mouth, there'd be the little pipe in there in order to go down. And she's got her ears just. Yeah, and they're little little gold base earrings. We've got so many earrings we could put between her ears. And she is heavy. One minute. Wait, I, oh gosh, I wanted to show something else. Dang, dang. Her, her top of her head. I've got her, Mom. She's okay. Here's her hair up close if you guys want to see it. We don't know, do we know if Lisa rooted this hair or did 
this doll come like this? I believe the doll came like this. Okay, because I didn't know if she did any of the artwork on this doll. Or no, I think she matted her a little bit or powdered her a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh yeah, here's her hair. It's soft. Um, so then... now she got her as a boo-boo baby. Here's her back. Let's see if it's shown the back yet. And then, come on, we gotta do the classic booty. <laughs> Guys, that, that's a nice booty. We always have to show our silicone booties off. We didn't do that on Linus's video. We're gonna make a special booty video for him. <laughs> okay. Oh, so sweet. Okay, I'll let you go to your mom. Now, I don't know if she's a sold out kit. I assume so. Okay. If, Where are we going? Back? Because she, okay. um, she was from 2019. And. Trying to find a measuring tape. Oh, good luck with that. Should I give up? Uh, check over by our reborn stuff. I think I put one over there not too long ago. Found it! I got her! There. We can measure her! She's huge. All the other two babies we got from Lisa's Little were boys. This one's a girl. We didn't, we didn't get a chance to adopt her other little girl, but it's because, um, I guess this one was the one meant for us. She's around 20 inches, actually, with her longest leg. She's got one leg that's slightly bent over the other, but she's 20 yeah, inches. Yeah, that's what she was supposed to be in, 10 pounds, and which I can see the 10 pounds. Hey, Mom. Well, she's got amazing detailing. I don't know what's up with, like, there's, like, linear stuff going on in her chest. I don't know if that's from the matting process or what. I don't know if you see what I'm talking about, but, um, I mean, I would definitely consider her boo boo, but she's perfect in my eyes. She's so precious. Yeah, most people aren't going to understand that she's a boo boo. I'll probably take pictures of her poster in the groups and not mention she's a boo boo baby and. They, yeah, it's, I, I feel like in photos and stuff, and even in this video, if you just look at the video, it doesn't really look like she's got boo-boos. It's, if we turn her, I don't know if you'll see it better, it's, it's the left side of her body that looks like it's got all the boo-boos. So this leg and this arm, and then her neck really, I don't know, let's see. Let's see what's happening there. It's, um, even though she fixed it, there's a little bit still coming off. Uh, but that's okay. Just have to be really careful with her. Because she's so precious. But yeah. Her little hands. It's not as much tipping to the fingers as there is to her toes. Her toenails. But she's so precious. There's little bits of like, whatever she um, was fixing up her silicone. Little bits of it are kind of trying to peel off. But yeah, just don't pick at them. I'm not picking at them. I'm just looking. I'm so bad at picking at stuff. Check on her little armpits, make sure they look okay. Yeah, she looks okay. She's so cute. And like her belly comes out a little bit. It's not just flat. She's actually got like, you know, thickness. She's got chunky legs, like very realistic. I love how she's sleeping too. Yeah, I don't know. It's because all, all of Lisa's silicones were sleeping. So I don't know if that's what she preferred that time. I'm just checking her out. She's got a little bit of little birthmark or something down underneath her belly. I don't know if that was part of a boo-boo. Mm -hmm. You guys should be allowed to see that. It's nothing that's out of the way. It's like a birthmark or something. Kind of like a mole or something. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, she's definitely anatomically correct. I don't know if we told them that, but she is a very much a girl. Yes. And she's got a drink and wet system. And we still got a test. The other two babies drink and wet system. You got the right bottle now for it. So. Yes. Because you, according to Lisa, or I don't know if you looked at her videos, she uses a specific Yeah, she bottle. uses the fast flowing. I end up getting a thicker flowing Molly. nipple. From the look of it, the bottle came with two different nipples. Yeah, the other one is the a newborn size nipple yeah. that 
won't, with these types of babies, won't get what I need. It. Look at in her mouth. So we will, I will try the thicker flowing one and let you guys know if that works pretty good. I like, um, your, what's his name, the one you just got? Jonah? Yeah, I'm like, well, no, I haven't looked in Jonah's mouth yet. Aro? Aro's mouth, the pipe is, is straight in the back. Hers is in the back, but it's facing, like, up. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's differently placed in the mouth. She's more recent as far as drinking wet systems go, uh, compared to Aro and Jonah. Uh, so if we saw. Jonah was first, then Aro, and then I would assume her, unless she did her other little girl, too. The one that she, I don't, do you remember her name? Lola. Lola. Yeah, Lola, I don't know how, if she had a drink of I believe all four of them had drink of I just don't know what order she did them in. Lola either. might have been before her. I know that sometimes with more expensive babies, you want to wait a while before you do something big like this because it could really damage it all. Not that she didn't already have boo-boos by the way she got her, but... Yeah, she came as a boo-boo. We do appreciate you allowing us to adopt this sweet baby. We do understand that you didn't sell her for as much as you would hope, but she did go to a great home, okay? So we do love her. We will cherish her every moment that we have with her. Um, we appreciate having her in our collection. We feel honored to have become her new parents. Well, she's the mama. I'm just the sister. <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm the one that likes the silicones more. I mean, I would. I probably would mess with them more. I just. I don't even really mess with my other babies all, all that much. I change them occasionally, but we're so busy with life sometimes. We have a hard time finding the time to do things these days. is hard. Yeah, but there's some days I just want to come home and cuddle with them. Sometimes work can be... Oh my gosh, it's kind of like um, whenever you got a therapy dog, you get deep pressure therapy, wherever you just have a, a doll that's heavy or something on your chest. It just, like, reduces your anxiety and stuff. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever, like, had that thought with, like, how heavy some of these dolls are and how, you know, they they appear to be, like, realistic babies, so it's, like, it's should happy. Yeah, I just, I wish sometimes I could take them to work, but that would be, look like, a little funny in oh Walmart. Gosh. I don't know if we're <laughs> going to address something else Lisa addressed as well that you showed me this morning. Um, oh, my gosh. We, we might address that in a different video. We're not going to do it in this one, but Lisa just addressed it. It's some, some reborn doll drama. And I don't think this is a reborn person, though. No, they the person that we're speaking of it do, it doesn't do reborn doll-related stuff. Their channel has nothing to do with that, but they jump to conclusions about the community, and we are insulted, and we will defend ourselves <laughs> till the end. So, but that's in a future video. This is all about... This little girl. Which it, we're leaning towards just going back to her original name, Zara, before Amelia became her name from Lisa's Littles. We we love both the names, but Amelia is a name of a Patty Play Pal doll that we have in our collection. And we don't have a Zara. We have a Zoe. We might have a Zoe, but not a Zara in our collection. So we could always name her Zara unless we go with a different name. But you'll know when the video goes up what her final name is. Yeah, I think Zara would work pretty good for her. Considering that is her name, her sculpt name, probably would work fine. What do you think? Do you think Zara would work pretty good for you? I love how her um, her artist name is also Megan. Megan Fagan. Rhymes. I think it's pronounced Fagan. Um. Alright, so we're just rambling now. This is the cutie. Yes. Like I said, we're honored to have her as part of our beautiful and growing collection. She will forever be cherished. We love you guys so much. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like to see more content just like this. And we hope to see you guys on the other side. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.